Hi, this is Graham Glass, CEO and founder of Cycle Learning again. I want to give you a quick demo now of this super cool new feature called Copilot. So as I mentioned, I'm a really big believer in AI. We're doing a lot of things as a company to assist all kinds of people who use our platform. But what I'm going to show you in this demo is Copilot being used for creating not just a little bit of a course, but the entire course. And I will say for the record, Copilot is not to get is not meant to get you 100% of the way there. It's meant to get you 80% of the way there. Copilot will do a lot of the work for you and then you go in and you make it yours. You know, you add your own videos, you add your own special projects, you move things around. But let me just show you Copilot in action. And this one, this particular demo is near and dear to my heart because I used to teach um, software engineering and, uh, and programming languages and things at the University of Texas at Dallas. And my first course that I ever had to create was called Unix and C programming. And I remember it well. I had no educational background. And so I had to start from scratch building this course. And it took me a really long time to do a good job. So as a test of Copilot, what I did was I went in, clicked the right bar, and here's a list of the things that Copilot can do for you. So it's not just build a course. It might be build a, a set of competencies, which can be separate and distinct from the actual course themselves. You could build a question bank. You can build a rubric. You can build a, a quiz. There's lots of things that you can do. But in this demo, I clicked on create a course, and I just had to type in a little bit of information, like what's the name of the course? It's going to be Unix and C programming. What tone of voice do you want to use? Academic. Uh, what's your audience? Uh, higher ed students. Uh, what kind of instructional style do you want? Direct instruction, Socratic, you know, uh, inquiry-based, so I want direct instruction. How many modules do you want? How many pages of content? Do you want an essay? Do you want a question? So it's like, check, 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 check. No, drop down, click, 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 go. And when you click go, what Copilot is going to say is, I'm busy working on your behalf. I'm going to try and get you 80% of the way there. When I'm done, then you can finish up the remaining 20%. So we're very, very clear the fact that this is not meant to replace instructional design, but it's meant to hugely accelerate it. What you're looking at is the final result of it creating Unix and C programming. And I'll give you a little tour around this thing. So first of all, if I go into mastery, <clears throat> you will see that these are the various competencies that it came up with. And these are pretty good. Like, as I mentioned, I actually created a course that was very popular in UT Dallas. And this is very similar to the competencies that I came up with when I was building the course. Once it's built the course, then it goes by and creates the course outline. So you're going to see the title of each module, the description of every module, the image for the module. And it's really cool that it's actually doing imagery as well, because it makes your course that much more uh, engaging for your, for your learners. So it did a pretty nice job there of even the images. Look at this memory management in C. And then the image is actually a memory, an image of how memory mapping works. So it did a really nice job. Now let me go in, I'm gonna take a look at, here's a, a module, permissions and ownership in Unix. Once again, a completely appropriate image. I go in here and here is the structure of this particular module. So we've got three sections of content, an essay with a rubric and a quiz. So let's just see what, um, what, what uh, Copilot did. So here's understanding file permissions. And you'll notice it inserted a pretty nice uh, reference there. That otherwise an instructor would have to go into Google and do the search and copy and paste and do all that kind of stuff. Did it all for you. The next one about permissions and ownership, and it does a very nice job of showing you a diagram there, which is the, the output from LS minus L. I do remember Unix and C. And I go in here and here's some, some more stuff and it's got some screenshots and it refers to the image above. So it did a very nice job of putting together some stuff. Or, or here's a little essay question, and it's all about the, the, the person who um, invented the C language, uh, Dennis Ritchie. 
And it also creates a rubric for scoring the essay. And in the rubric itself, it automatically aligns the individual criteria with competencies. So, so the nice thing is that as the student is going through this course and we're determining their strengths and weaknesses and things they understand and things they don't understand, all of those things are being completely automatically cross-connected. And for the question bank, here's an example where his, I, when I created the course, I said, just give me 10 questions, five multiple choice, three fill in the blanks, two true or false. And any, every one of these questions is automatically aligned to a competency as well. And this is the kind of stuff that otherwise takes quite a lot of time to set up the competencies, to build the mapping, to find the modules, to do put in, insert the YouTube videos, to connect all these things. But Copilot is doing a fantastic job of getting you 80% of the way there. So that's at the high level what it's doing. But if you're used to the Cypher Learning platform, you'll know that there's a lot more to our platform than just serving up content. So some of our di differentiators include automation, which is the ability to trigger actions based on any kind of condition. Like when you complete the course, give you a certificate. Maybe we set up a game. So we have world-class gamification in Cypher platform. When you complete this module, you get 20 points. When you complete this quiz, you get 30 points. Oh, you got a badge, congratulations. So ideally you would like Copilot to do that as well. So that's what it does. So in this case, it build a game. Unix and C programming adventure. And within that game, it put together these various levels, beginner's journey, advanced quest, expert odyssey. It all sounds pretty cool. It's whimsical. It was all automatically generated by Copilot. And then what it does, it automatically creates badges for all of these levels. And it automatically adds um, automation rules. So when you achieve this level, you get a badge. That's an automation rule. When you complete this module, you get 100 points. That's an automation rule. And to show you this, if I go back into the, the modules themselves and click on module three, you'll notice that Copilot went in and automatically added this rule. When you complete this, I want you to award 100 points. 